Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting things set up over here. My whatchamacallit is now, all oh, right, we are up. I'm gonna try to read some of your comments. Um, I'm really new at all this, uh, like live stuff. So hang on, not totally ready yet. Let me get a little angle out of the dangle here. Um, maybe there, maybe. Okay, how's that? All right, so we're back in front of the wall of charity. Ooh, never turn your back on the camera. You never know who's going to be throwing jaggers. Hey, Alan, how you doing? Hey, listen, um, real quick. I don't, oh, I'm not going to be able to get through this, am I? Proud of your work and progress. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Cool videos. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mark. Um, we have to hang out for a few minutes, guys. We have to try to let Lilibet from England. Uh, it's 6, 7 o'clock. 7.30 there. And hi, Wanda. And she's always Thomas. She's always saying that she can never get on to say hi. So we're going to try to make it where she can today, okay? Um, thank you, Alan. I can't read and talk, though, at the same time, guys. So I don't mean to be rude, but all your comments will show up after the live stream's over on the side on my video page, okay? So I don't mean to be rude, but I'll try to, I'll try to jump in. Um, hey, Tree Climbing, how you doing? Um, so the dance vlog link is now active to uh, the St. Jude uh, website, the donation page. So you guys can now go to www.dancevlog.com and uh, just go ahead and go to the donation page there, okay? You can also share that donation page. You don't have to share uh, the Dan's Vlog link. Um, hi, Footy. Uh, we had a dog named Footy. Uh, it had a different color on a, on a foot um, back when in my race car days. Uh, it was a pit bull. It was a crazy dog. Um, so I appreciate that tree climbing. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> anyways, okay, let me, I got to come back. Okay, so it, you don't have to link um, Dan's vlog. But you can link the donation page. So if you want to start like a fundraiser or something like that on your own Facebook and say, hey, I'm a part of this, you can do that. Uh, Facebook fundraising or something like that. I don't use Facebook. I, the only social media that I use is YouTube. So I post to YouTube. I do live like this. I'll do YouTube stories. And of course, I do my YouTube videos. That's enough. That's everything. All right. I don't, I don't, I don't have all those different things. But if you do and you're active on Facebook and all those things and you really want to help us get to that $10,000 mark, um, by all means, do whatever you need to do to get it there so we can go do episode five. Low battery. <laughs> um, so anyways, I don't see. Yes, I agree. Tree climbing. Share it. I don't see Lily Bet yet and she'll be so upset if if she misses it again. I'm gonna to have to set up a special time um, for my friends on the in the UK and, and in England, you know, out there, uh, where it might not be so late. Uh, but, so the link is active, and you can start donating, and I already got a notification to my watch to email that somebody had already donated, so I was gonna say who's gonna be the first, but somebody already donated, so if you're watching this live stream, uh, I really appreciate the donation already. It was uh, it was a nice chunk of money. Um, how you doing, Randy? Uh, so I really do appreciate that. That already got us to, I believe it said, 1% of our goal. So I think that's pretty cool. Hey, first one to like it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll take that. First one to like it. First one to share it. Uh, first one to comment. That's all fun stuff. So I uh, love the single mom rescue. Yeah, I mean, that single mom rescue... I tell you what, man, that started kind of like, like a scratch in my head, man. I was just like, I don't know, man. And after I got the first episode done and I went home and I edited, guys, I had about six hours of video to go through and edit. And it took me probably three days of just solid brainstorming and editing and coming up with a new style of video to share with YouTube. Um, I'm not sure that anybody had that style of, of um, views of, of, you know, speeding things up and like telling you what we're gonna do, letting you see how we did some of it 
and letting you watch how we did some of it in regular time and then speeding it up and then at the end time lapsing it the way we did with nothing but music and really making a huge difference um, and letting you see the complete tear down and clean up of an area I, I don't know it was it was a whole new style and and um, and I gotta tell you single mom was was concerned um, she felt like she wasn't earning her way you know she was like you know just for a meal you know this this doesn't you know she's like I feel bad but it was the deal was the deal and I said this is what I'm gonna do I want to teach people on YouTube that sometimes you just you just do it you know you just you see somebody that needs some help and you just do it and you explain to them that that you know hey you can make me a meal and I can make this nice and that's it and that that was the handshake deal and that's what we did but what I got out of that series, out of doing episode one, that then led to episode two, which became easier to edit, um, and then, every, you know, three and four, because now I had a style and I knew what to do. So when I went back out there the next day, I was, I was able to, I was not the next day, but the next weekend, I was, I was able to put my camera where I needed it. I was able to film smarter. And when I got back, I already had the story in my head. So I didn't start from scratch like episode one. Um, but one, two, three, and four, I think that that episode is the best work on camera that I've done. Now, it might be the best clean out like what you guys have seen from me and like the, the biggest change. I get that. I definitely agree with that. But what I got out of it, what I learned from those four, it was... Um, those four videos, I should say, editing those four videos has carried me now and has transformed my channel into, I think, a different channel than most lawn services on YouTube. And that's what I told her I was going to get out of it. And that's what I got out of it. So it worked out great. It really did. And episode five, you know, I really wanted to get to episode five and I wanted to do something, of course, charitable this year with the donations for St. Jude. And I figured this was a great way to do something to final it for her, to final it for you, and to raise the money for St. Jude. And I can sit back and I can just start sharpening my chainsaw blades and get things ready for what I think is going to be a heck of an episode five. Uh, really cool video. I've learned a lot since episode four. Uh, so I think we can do some really cool video. I think we can make a really big change in the property. And you guys are going to make a really big change in people's lives with the donations for St. Jude. And even if we don't get to 10000 I'm not going to say I'm going to do episode 5. That's not the deal. The deal is we get to 10000 You guys are going to see episode 5. But even if we don't get to 10000 let's just say we come up short and we only come up to 7000 Okay, you might not get to see episode 5. But your donations have already been collected and lives have already been changed. And that, I can't explain to you enough. Like throughout this whole year, every dollar that we get immediately goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, immediately goes to the families, immediately goes to research, to comfort, to get families from one area to another area and bring them together. If it's, you know, maybe for the kids, um, maybe they don't have a good uh, outcome. At least a family can be there, and that's what your donation's going to help right now, today. There's no delay. So it's not like the money's being put into a GoFundMe, and then if we reach the goal, it gets dispersed. If you donate a dollar today, that dollar gets used by St. Jude's as soon as they get, you know, as soon as the funds are available. So the battery on this phone is dying. This is nine, almost ten minutes. Lily Ben, I, I didn't see you come up. You're going to be heartbroken again, and I'm sorry. And if maybe you're watching this and you can't comment and you're smashing and it's telling you that live comments is disabled. It's not disabled on my end. I'm getting tons of live comments that I can't keep up with and I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, we're going to do this again. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you guys very, very much ahead of time. I know you guys are going to do everything you can to help us raise the $10,000 uh, for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I'm going to do uh, everything I can to earn it um how did that come up red yes you can get a shout out footy footy is that i'm sorry i don't mean to get so close to the camera 
Footy changes. Yes. Tour my favorite YouTuber. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I will, uh, I'll see you guys really soon with some updates and stuff like that. And we got a lot going on and I got some really big houses to pressure wash coming up uh, very soon. In fact, probably this week I'm going to do them and uh, we'll get those edits out to you. This weekend my kids are coming. Not sure what we're doing yet. Uh, so anyways, thank you so much. I really appreciate